Hello everyone, welcome back to Shortcode. In this video, we're going to be learning about collisions in Pygame. So if you remember last video, we added some images to our game with sprite sheets. And you can see we've got our little character with some walls as well as some grass as the background. Uh, but at the moment, when we run over the walls, there isn't any collisions. Which is what we're going to be learning about today. We're going to be adding collisions in Pygame. So let's get right into it. So today we're going to be working entirely in the player class. And the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add a method called collide blocks, I guess. So define collide blocks. And it's going to need self. And also we're going to need a direction. Now, the reason why we're going to need a direction is because we want to know whether we're going to be moving left and right or up and down. From there we can compare where we need to collide, sort of. Uh, it'll hopefully make sense once we've written a bit of code. So then we need to check which direction we're moving in. So if direction is equal to x, then we'll do something. Or if direction is equal to y, then we'll do something. Uh, so now working at the x, uh, we'll do hits equals pygame dot sprite dot sprites collide when we use this pygame.sprite.spriteCollide, what we're doing is we're checking whether the rect of one sprite is inside the rect of another sprite. So we're comparing two sprites, and which sprites are we going to be comparing? We're going to be comparing the player sprite, so we'll need self, and we'll also be going to compare the block sprites. And here we can do self.game.blocks. Self.game.blocks, it contains every single block in our game. So it's going to check if our player's rect is inside the rect of any of the blocks in self.game.blocks. And then the final parameter is going to be false. Now the final parameter is literally just checking whether you want to delete the sprite when you collide. Um, we don't want to delete the sprite when we collide, so we're just going to set it to false. It'll return false if there's been no collisions, but if there has been a collision, it'll return true. So if there has been a collision, we want to check whether the player is moving left or right. So we can do this. We can do this with if self.x underscore change is greater than zero, which means that we'll be moving right. Uh, but if self.x change is less than zero, so if we're moving left, um, so we'll do, if you're moving right first, what we can do is we can do self.rect.x equals hits 0 dot rect dot left minus self dot rect dot width. So what are we doing here? Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up MS Paint. Let's draw a rectangle to represent our player. So this is our player, and uh, let's grab a different color, and say this is our wall. If direction equals x, if we're moving along the x-axis like this, and then if we collide like this, this is a collision because you can see our rectangle is inside the block rectangle. And if the x change is greater than zero, so if we're moving right, so what we're doing, self.rect.x equals hit zero dot rect dot left. So we're setting self.rect.x, we're setting this point right here equal to that point. So we're going to be placing it directly on top of a wall. But because we're taking away self.rect.width, what we're going to do is we're going to take away the width of that. So we end up with our player being directly next to uh, the block. So we're moving in this direction. We have a collision. We're going to be lining it up right here. But because we're minusing the width, we're going to move it back here. So that's basically how the collisions are going to work. Now let's do it, say we're moving to the left instead of to the right. What we can do is we can do self.rect.x equals hits zero dot rect dot right. Um, and by the way, this hits zero, hits zero is basically just the wall that we're colliding with. So imagine that we're going from right to left. If we collide, then we're going to set this point up here. We're going to be setting self.rect.x equals to the right position of this, so we're going to be setting it to here. So we're moving in this direction, then we just stop right here. Okay, that's it for the x direction. Let's now move on to the y direction. Let's just copy and paste this again. If hits, if self dot y change this time is greater than zero, if the y change is greater than zero, we'll be moving down. Um, so what we want to do is we want to do self dot rex dot y equals hits zero, so the uh, wall that we're colliding with, 
dot rect dot top minus self dot rect dot height. What we're doing here, we're moving up and down, so our direction is y. And if we are moving down, so if y change is greater than zero, self dot rect dot y. So this point right here, self dot rect dot y, it's going to be hit zero dot rect dot top. So we're going to be moving this on top of there again, so those points match up. But because we're taking away self dot rect dot height, we're going to be taking away the height, so we end up like that. So we're moving down, and then we'll just collide like that. And the same thing will happen if we're moving up. We'll just collide like that. If self dot uh, self dot y change is less than zero, so if we're moving up, self dot rect dot y equals hit zero uh, dot rec dot bottom. Self dot rec dot y. So this point right here is going to equal this point right here. So boom, we just collide like that. Okay, that's it for our uh, collide blocks method. Um, and now we actually need to call the method, and we're going to be calling the method um, in between when we add the x change onto self.rec.x. So we can do self.collide blocks, and we're going to be doing it in the x direction at this point, and self.collide blocks, and we'll do it in the y direction. So once we've added the self.x change onto the uh, x position of our rect, then we can call the collide blocks and do the collisions as necessary. Same with the y position as well. If we run the main.py right now, we can see we got our player and we can move around and if we collide with a block, we collide and I'm pressing the right arrow key and we're not moving. Uh, same, let's go up. We collide when we go up. Uh, let's collide when we move down. We collide when we move down. And when we move left, we also collide. So there we go, we've added some collisions to our game. So if you have any questions or comments about collisions in Pygame, leave them down below. I always reply to you guys. In the next video, we'll be adding in animations to our game. Otherwise, that's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.